NFL free agency continues to roll on. We're about a week and a half into the 2024 free agency cycle. And in today's video, I'm going to go through the positions of needs for the Giants, factoring in the cap space, and talk about some realistic players that the New York Giants can sign. At this current moment, the Giants have about $6.5 million in cap space. They can easily increase that number, cutting a guy like Gary Brightwell or cutting a guy like Aaron Robinson. That saves you about $2.5 million. But you could save an additional $22 million in cap space if you restructure Andrew Thomas's contract and if you restructure Dexter Lawrence's contract. So $22 million if you restructure those big fellas, plus the 6 and a half, you're back up to nearly $30 million in cap space. And if the Giants are actually serious about adding some big-time talent to this roster in the offseason, they need to do this. I expect for them at minimum to restructure Andrew Thomas. I mean, when you talk about restructure candidates, there's not two guys that could fit it more perfectly. He's going to be here for the foreseeable future. He is going to be here for the foreseeable future. Just push their money down the road and uh, deal with that a little bit later. Four positions we're going to go through, though, at free agency targets. I believe the biggest Giants free agency needs left. Corner, safety, wide receiver, and defensive tackle. Those are the four positions that I believe the Giants need to improve in free agency. They've already gone to the free agency well for the quarterback, and they went to the free agency well for the edge rusher. Go get me a veteran corner. Give me a veteran safety. Go get me a proven receiver, and give me a big guy in the trenches. Um, that is where I'm at on that. Luke Sargent says tight end. I don't know if tight end is as nearly as big of a need as these guys. You've already signed two guys at tight end, Jack Stoll and Chris Manhurts, and you still have Bellinger. That's three tight ends right there. If you, lose, if you lose Waller and he retires, you will need a tight end, but I'm still putting these four needs above those. Before we go into more players the Giants can sign, my question is this. What would be your grade for Joe Shane's free agency so far this year? What is your grade for Joe Shane and his free agency so far this year? ABC, DRF, give me a letter grade down below. Let's start with the cornerback position. Um, we're trying to be realistic. We're not talking about the best guys at the position. We're talking about people that the New York Giants can fit in their salary cap space. Xavier Howard is a guy that I'm absolutely interested in. Still just 30 years old. Uh, has some good football left in the tank. Has some of the best ball skills, I believe, of any quarterback corner in this league. 12 pass breakups last year for Miami. Has led the league in interceptions before. Having him on one side and Deontay Banks on another, I think that would really help a Shane Bowen-led defense. Probably the number one corner, though, that I'm most interested in is Stephon Gilmore. And the reason is because I think he's the best left, and he might just be outside the Giants' price range. I'm not sure what it would cost, but I would definitely call him, and I would see what the price would be because I think he's still really good. Um, I think he helped that Dallas Cowboys defense last year. You always see these guys go from one team in the division to another. And I think that Deontay Banks getting to learn from Stephon Gilmore, even if it is just for one year, would greatly help the development uh, for his career. Tredavious White is supposed to have a free agency visit with the Giants this week. He's a good player. The injuries have just been a problem. He's only played in 21 games in the last three years. Still just 29 years old. And when he's available, his ability has shined through. But the availability is sometimes the best ability. And right now he's been unable to be that. Just 21 games in the last three years. Former All-Pro. Former first-round pick at LSU. I still think there's some talent there. Um, but I wouldn't give him anything more than the cheap one-year deal. One year, $5 million, two and a half guaranteed. Uh, incentives up to five. Christian Fulton is a sneaky under-the-radar radar free agent target that I'm looking at. Has some ties to Shane Bowen. He played with the Tennessee Titans last year. Still just 25 years old. Bowen knows him inside and out. He'll know if he's a good fit. I'll keep my eyes on Christian Fulton. If you're looking for more of a slot corner, Avante Maddox, I think, fits that bill. He also comes over, or he played for the Philadelphia Eagles throughout his career. Not the best corner, not the worst, but he is someone that I think that could help you in that slot. Uh, I like Cordell Flott. I like Nick McLeod. I'm not so sure they're ready to be full-time starting slot corners in this league. Look at the Giants' cornerback room. You got Banks, you got McLeod, you got Flott, you got Trey Hawkins, and you got Aaron Robinson. But outside of that, you don't have anybody else. And outside of Deontay Banks, there's really not that much proven talent in this league. The Giants 100% need to add to this cornerback depth chart. Whether that is Xavier Howard, whether it is Tredavious White, whether that is Stephon Gilmore, 
or Fulton or Maddox, the Giants need to go out and pay some money for a corner that's proven. You don't want another young corner on the scene. You need someone proven, especially in a Shane Bowen defense where they ask a lot out of their defensive backs. If the Giants make a signing, though, we're going to make a video. So subscribe and turn your notifications on for free, informative, entertaining, passion-driven updates every day on your New York football Giants. The next biggest position of need in free agency to fill, in my opinion, is the safety position. Xavier McKinney walked. He is now a member of the Green Bay Packers. You went out and gave Jalen Mills a one-year veteran minimum deal. I think you could add some more competition there. I'm looking at a guy like Quandre Diggs, who has been with Seattle for the past couple of years, 31 years old, hard-hitting safety, likes to play in the box. I think he's still a really good player. I would bring him in to play. Um, these Shane Bowen defenses, he likes to run nickel and dime a lot, likes to have a lot of DBs on the field. If you're going to do that, you need DBs that can tackle. And Quandre Diggs, he's one of the best in the business at stuff in the run. Another veteran I'm going to be keeping my eyes on is Eddie Jackson. Man, I loved him coming out of Alabama. He reminded me of Eric Berry a little bit. Never really lived up to the hype. Had some really good seasons. That may not be fair. Had some really good seasons in this league, um, but his best days are behind him. Still, solid player. Um, I'd love to bring him in. From Alabama, 30 years old, 37 tackles last year, five pass breakups. He's a guy that can come in in the box as well and defend the run. Not the best coverage guy. You don't really want to play in that deep half or that deep single high safety too often. But that strong safety, big nickel type of role, I think Eddie Jackson makes a lot of sense for the Giants. A younger option, which may be a little bit too, much, too expensive for the Giants, is Julian Blackman. 25 years old, 88 tackles last year, eight pass breakups, four interceptions. I think he's the best free agent safety probably left outside of Justin Simmons or Duggar or du uh, Duggar from the New England Patriots. Um, I'd keep my eyes on Julian Blackman. I'm also a big fan of Rudy Ford. I'm a big fan of Rudy Ford. Um, I think he's a guy that just makes plays. Last year for the Green Bay Packers, 71 tackles, two interceptions, six pass breakups. Here at Chat Sports, I do our Green Bay Packers content for our Alexa, um, if you have a little Amazon device, you could say play the Green Bay Packers Blitz or Green Bay Packers two-minute drill. I'll come up. Um, Rudy Ford was making plays every single week. A little injury prone, but I would like to bring him in. I think he'd help. Micah Hyde is another name that I think could be attached to the New York Giants, the Buffalo Bills connection with Joe Shane and with Brian Dable. 33 years old, um, but a guy that I still think has some good games, still some good snaps, some good reps to be had. And he's someone that I think Fits the bow in defense. He gets in the box and he mixes it up. And when you look at the giant step chart at the safety position, they need to add some more talent here. I like Pennock. I like Belton. Jalen Mills on a veteran minimum. And Javarius Owens are nothing more than camp bodies that really need to earn roster spots. So going and adding a guy at that safety position, like the people we talked about, um, I think makes a lot of sense. From safety to wide receiver. Michael Gallup is the guy that I'm going to be keeping my eye on. He's been with the Dallas Cowboys throughout his career. He was an early round pick out of Colorado State till 28 years old. Never really bounced back from that ACL injury, but he gives you a different look at that wide receiver position, and he's had some really good years in this league. Um, not a lead anymore. Still a good player. I bring him in on a cheap deal. Corey Davis. I wouldn't mind kicking the tires on him. Former top 10 pick out of Western Michigan. Uh, I still think he has a good amount of athleticism to give to this game and some good production. I wouldn't mind signing a guy like Corey Davis. If you want to buy a lottery ticket and maybe you get him on a cheap one-year deal, Michael Thomas. I'm not sur sure how much tread is left on those tires, but we know that Slant Boy is a good football player when healthy. 39 grabs last year, 448 yards. Like Tredavious White, it comes down to availability for Michael Thomas, and he just hasn't been all that available. So far, DJ Chark is a name I'm also going to be watching very closely. The Giants were interested in signing DJ Chark last season. <coughs> so I could see Chark once again coming up on the radar for the New York Giants. He's a deep threat. Didn't have that good of a year last year, but he's someone that I'm definitely thinking the Giants are going to kick the tires on as they were interested in him just last season. Isaiah Hodgins. Kind of upset. Kind of upset that he's not back with the Giants. Only 25 years old. Um... But do I want to pay $3 million for my wide receiver five? And this is all dependent on if you go out and draft a receiver as well. Maybe the Giants wait on that to see how the draft plays out. But I wouldn't mind bringing a guy back 
like Isaiah Hodge. Marcus Valdez Scantling. Not all that interested in him. He is a deep threat. He's someone that can push the sideline and put some pressure on the safeties. Vertical threat, no doubt about it. Has a little bit of a drop issue. Um, not all that interested in, in him, but still a free agent target for the New York Giants because it'll be cheaper at that wide receiver position. Giants need a wide receiver one. They got to add somebody. I mean, you see the graphic. This thing makes me want to vomit. Their receivers over the – they haven't had a, a wide receiver one since the year before the pandemic. And before that, Lord knows how far it's been. Um, they're just not good. Like, simply put, I think Slayton is a wide receiver three uh, on a really good team. Wide receiver two. Um, but for me, you got to go out and add more talent to this position. We'll get to the defensive tackle position coming up in a second, as I do still think the Giants need to add a body there. But Brian Burns jerseys are up for purchase. Get yours today. Chatsports.com slash Burns. Chatsports.com slash Burns. Get hooked up with them. Um, get your jersey. Once it is official, as he's wearing number zero, they'll ship it out to you, and you'll have your Brian Burns jersey on the way. Let's close it out with defensive tackles. What about bringing in one of my favorite players of all time, Calais Campbell? 37 years old, still solid, six foot eight, 307 pounds. The guy had 56 tackles, six and a half sacks last year, 10 tackles for loss, one forced fumble, one full fumble recovery. I think he's still a good football player. And I'd like to see him lined up next to Dexter Lawrence. With Brian Burns and Kayvon Thibodeau, what is Izo Jalari rotating in? Gladys Campbell would be someone I'm very interested in. Tayer Tart, also another guy I'm keeping my eye on. Six foot two, 304 pounds, your interior defensive lineman, a run stopper. He had eight tackles for loss. He can get off blocks. He can make plays near or around the line of scrimmage. Get another guy that can get dirty in the trenches is something that I think this team needs. I like Jordan Riley, and I like DJ Davidson. I obviously love Sexy Dexy, but I think another DT could make a lot of sense in free agency to this team. Lawrence Guy is another guy that I'm all cho That's funny. Lawrence Guy is another guy. Um, I like him. He's older. Uh, 38 tackles last year, one tackle for loss. If he wants to come play for a cheap one-year deal, I'd uh, don't go to that one. I, ha I would be interested on him. Mike Purcell, another player that I'm also interested in at that D-tackle position. I think all these guys could be had for cheap one-year deals. Um, maybe a cheap two-year deal for some of the guys we talked about. But six foot three, 328 pounds, 25 tackles, one tackle for loss. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense for the Giants. We went through maybe 30 players on today's show. Receiver, DT, corner, and safety. All I ask is for you to name one player. Give me one name. Everybody watching today's show, please give me one name you want to see the Giants sign in for you. Make sure you are following me over on Twitter and Instagram. It's the first place you'll find out about any giant signings that they make. So hit me up over there. And let's go Big Blue.